Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing? I'm getting ready to um, do some inking and thought I'd um, do a little recording so you guys could see me doing it. Um, I'm going to ink on this cute little black canvas bag. Um, this is one of our new transfers. It's called My Superpower. And what's cool is, is you can put the word crafting, chalking, sewing, crochet, or quilting in here. So of course I'm gonna put chalking is my superpower. Can't stop, won't stop 24 seven. So um, I think for the word um, superpower and crafting, I'm gonna use the, um, the uh, Couture Teal ink. Um, this is that pretty, um, pretty greenish teal color. And then everything else I'm gonna use our, um, our white ink. So this is a little bit different consistency than our chalk paste. And um, so I, you always wanna give it a good stirring um, if you haven't used it for a while, just to make sure everything's blended real nicely. We have these um, cute little stir sticks that you can use um, to do that with. And um, when you are inking, you don't have to fuzz your transfer. So we're gonna just stick this transfer directly on top of the canvas bag because we want it to stick really, really good to um, the material. Because um, if you fuzz it and then try to place it on the material, it might not stick down as well as it should. And, um, and then what happens is you have um, leakage underneath um, on the material. And unfortunately with the ink, it is permanent and it's, uh, it won't wash out. So, um, so yeah, so you want to definitely keep that in mind when you are, um, inking. Um, I was really afraid of inking at first. I was really kind of, um, intimidated by it, but once I started going with it, I actually, I absolutely love to ink. Now, when you are inking and you're using um, material, whether it be t-shirts, bags, um, pillowcases, whatever, you wanna make sure that um, you put something behind it inside, um, so that way the ink for one doesn't leak through to the other side, and one to hold the, ink, the, the material real, um, stiff so it's not moving around so you don't blur your image. Um, we have these neat little um, ink mats and um, this one here it's really long and rectangular. It's uh, an 11 by 23 inches. Um, we also have it in an 18 by 18 size so it's great for pillowcases and some bigger projects, table runners, things like that and this as well. So um, so yeah, so what I'm gonna do is take this off and um, that part that was on there on top um, was to protect it because this is sticky as you can see. So when we put this inside our bag or t-shirt or whatever it is that you're getting ready to ink, um, you just kind of slide it in there. And then what I do is just press the material down onto this. So now that material is nice and firm. And when you put your transfer down, it's not going to um, move the material when you're trying to ink on there, okay? So um, I'm gonna write on the back here just so I can remember um, what side and what it is that I'm doing. Now, these are the new transfers and so the backs are a different color than the other side, the other side that you put the transfers on. So before they were both white, so people, we were having a hard time to figuring out which way to put, which um, side to put the transfer back on. Um, but you um, wanna put it on the white side because you can see it's kind of shiny. So that way um, this doesn't stick to the paper side, okay? And I'm gonna put this here. This just is so I know, um, which direction uh, to put these uh, back on, okay? Because sometimes I've got so many different 
uh, transfers out that I um, want to know which way, which direction they go so they fit back down on the on the paper. So I'm going to take this backing off, okay, and then I'm going to get this ready and put it um, on my bag here. And you just want to kind of make sure that you know you're putting it in the in the center or wherever you want to put it. Make sure it's nice and straight. And then just kind of press it out. Um, I always make sure I press everything really good when I'm chalking so that way I can make sure that I'm not going to um, have a bleeder. So sometimes you can even take your squeegee and um, just kind of move it around just to make sure that you're getting all the air bubbles out. So that is totally acceptable to do. Okay, um, so there is that. Okay, and then um, like I said, I'm going to do the white and, um, and everything but the word chalking I'm going to put in there and the superpower. So everything else is going to be white, okay? So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start with the top just with a little bit of, um, of the ink. I'm gonna put it on my bag here and what is nice about the ink is it does not dry near as fast as the paste. So you can take your time and put your um, ink on here. You don't have to be in a hurry um, because it doesn't, it takes a, a while for it to um, to harden and dry. So usually about 24 hours. So when I, once I'm done here, what I'll do is I'll just put this aside um, and just let it uh, dry. If you're in a hurry and you need to, to do um, something faster, you can do that. You can use um, a drying tool, which we do have in our accessory section in um, on my website. Or if you have um, a heat set tool um, at home already, then you can certainly do that as well. Um, so yeah, just kind of put, I just kind of put my, my paste out or actually my ink, sorry, I'm so used to saying paste. Um, and then just kind of generously put your ink down. You wanna make sure that you're covering all the sections so that way it's um, all covered up really nicely. Um, if you miss a spot, feel free to go back and do it. But um, you just wanna make sure that all the areas are nicely coated um, cause you don't want to peel it off and then go, oops, it's a little harder with the ink. Um, cause you have to wait for it to dry. And then, um, and then after that you have to heat set it. So, um, but look how pretty that is. I mean, it just goes on so nice and easy. And, um, what I'll end up having to do in a minute is, um, having to actually go in and, I'll have to dry this part here just so that I can um, put this part down and um, so it doesn't um, cause a problem with the, the ink uh, being transferred onto the other sections of my transfer so I don't smear it over all over the place. So, um, so yeah, so what I'm doing now is I'm just getting rid of the extra ink on here. You can kind of see after I put it all on there, you want to take squeegee off the extra because um, you can certainly reuse this ink just like the chalk paste. Um, so just put it on there and then squeegee the extra off and um, uh oh, it look, looks like I almost got it there and get that off of there um, and then kind of keep on going. Let me see, I'm starting to make a mess here. So let me um, clean my hand here. All right, can you guys see how that's looking? Not too bad, huh? So, okay, so let's go to the next section here. Just gonna kind of put this ink out. Now, I could have used a little bit bigger squeegee on this, 
but um, I just kind of wanted to keep it simple so I could have better control over my um, over my ink. And um, since I'm doing different colors, just want to make sure I don't get get it all over the place and and put it in the wrong spot. Um, so just for me, I'm just a little little. Um, more comfortable because my hands are a little bit smaller. I, I do like using my mini squeegee. It's my favorite. So, okay, so you guys can see that. All right, so let's go ahead and get a little bit of the, um, the teal and I'm gonna put this here. There we go. I love this color and it's gonna be so pretty on the back of this black bag. So I'm gonna come up from the bottom and get the rest of this on here. There we go. Perfect. So you guys can see, and then I'm gonna take the extra off and put it back in my, my little jar here. Take that off. There we go. All right, I think that looks good. So let me go ahead and peel this back a little bit. Make sure that we've got everything covered. If you go pretty slow and get, um, just kind of watch and make sure that you got everything nicely covered, then um, if you miss something, just lay it right back down and then you can, um, I think that's just the way this looks here on the top here. I think it's just kind of, kind of like it's vintage color. Yeah, I think that looks really good. That looks fabulous. All right, so I'm gonna put this back on my backer sheet here, just cause I'm not quite ready yet to, um, to wash that. So what I'm gonna do now is dry this here on the top part. And you can kind of see where I kind of boo-booed a little bit. That's okay. So I'm just gonna dry it. That way I can put the next one down. Look how cute that is. I love it. That's great. So again, um, I'll let it set for a little while and um, probably tomorrow I'll uh, heat set it. If you were in a hurry, and you, like I was saying earlier, and you want to do it right away, you certainly can. Um, I would just kind of dry it this way, just dry it to touch so it doesn't move. And then put a little bit of um, parchment paper down and use an iron or a heat, set, uh, heat press, whichever um, works better for you or whatever you have available. I think that's okay right there. It's not coming up on my fingers. So let me um, see how we're going to put this on here. And what's nice with these new transfers is can you see underneath it. Isn't that awesome? Let me make sure I don't get my head in the picture here. Um, you can see through the transfers now. And I think that is awesome because now when we're layering like this, you can actually see underneath through the transfer so you know where to place it. So in the past, the um, the transfers were really thick and you couldn't really see, you had a hard time seeing through them. I think that looks pretty good right there. What do you guys think? I think that looks good. So I'm just gonna kinda rub that on there, make sure it's on there real good. And then I'm gonna be real careful, just kinda put that right up there on the, on the top. This one, um, you. 
don't have to be super duper careful because if you run over, um, it's not going to really go through to the other side because the transfer is um, solid in the in this area. So if I get it down in the other area here, it's it's not gonna hurt anything, if that makes sense. So you can kind of just go for it. Okay. All right, so let me get, just take off some of this extra here. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so let's take this off and see how we did. Very good, excellent. All right, so there we go. What do you guys think? Isn't that awesome? <laughs> I love it. I may go back um, after this dries. I may go back and add a little bit more um, color just to make it pop a little bit more and then um, and then I'll heat set it. So but yeah, but that's pretty much all you have to do when you're chalking or I'm not chalking. I was looking at the word chalking um, when you're inking and um, and then you can just take this out when you're ready and um, and you're ready to go but look how cute cute little bag all right so you can see how fast that turned out and um, yeah and then once you heat set it or iron it um, you will um, you can wash it and it's not going to wash out so that's it's really really good okay so hope you guys have a good day and i will talk to you soon all right bye